everyone, it's Jenny here from Jen Skinner Art. I just have a quick tip for you, something that I do all the time and um, it's made a big difference to me and my art supplies. And that is putting products that you use all the time from their large bottles into smaller ones. Uh, for example, this little one here has my PVA glue in it slightly watered down if I need a bigger quantity then I have it in my jar and then I have a whole selection of small um, bottles that I use for example these fine tip bottles I've actually got um, liquid paint in those so I can get really really fine work out of them this is one of my most favorite products and I like to be able to use it in a fine tip. So I've got this little one here. I'm going to pop the top off. Now, this nozzle on the end of here actually does fit into the container. So it's reasonably easy to squeeze and refill this one. However, sometimes it's a little bit harder to get what you want into the smaller container. For example, this one's got a very, very small top on it. So the, the trick is the container you're trying to fill, which is this one, you squeeze it. Can you see that I'm squeezing it right in? You squeeze it, whatever is in there is going to come up near the top then you start putting your product in as you let go and it's a scientific principle that when you let the pressure go off this container it's actually going to suck air in and it makes it so much easier to fill so in this case I'm not doing anything to this this is exactly what is going into this container I'm not adding any distilled water I'm not adding any alcohol or anything like um, that no acetone and there we have it I have a nice small bottle filled Okay, so these are just a few of the larger containers that I then reduce down into smaller ones. I've shown you my PVA, um, my Sullivan's, which is in this little one here. My mum has a large bottle of this MAC glue, so I've decanted it into uh, a medium-sized bottle and then also a very small one. And then my golden fluorescent magenta is what's in this container here and just to conclude the way I did it was to squeeze the bottle right in and when I slowly let it go at the moment it's sucking in air but if I was to squeeze it and be holding another container of glue over the top and then gradually let it go it would suck that glue in and it makes it so much easier to refill. The other thing that you can keep in mind is that if you want to actually water your glue down, rather than try and decant thick glue into a small bottle, actually dilute it in a larger container first and then um, pour it in and you'll find that it will go so much quicker. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tip and trick and um, have fun with it. Bye for now.